Hey, how's it going, Alan? My name is Douglas Doherty. I live in downtown San Diego. I appreciate the time you took to watch this video. I know time is very valuable, so I just want to get going here. Um, I did this video to give you an idea on your position on Google and to see if clients can actually find you using Google, okay, on the internet. Um, I work as a web developer and I'm an expert in SEO, so let's just jump straight into the video. So as you can see, we're on your website. Um, so 80% of people in the world today, when they need a service, whether it be orthodontics, carpet cleaning, limousine service, you name it, they're going to use Google, okay? 80% use Google, all right? That's what's hot. Um, so what they do is they go into Google and they type in their city and the service. So to find you, um, we would have to type in San Diego orthodontist or orthodontist San Diego, something like that, keywords, but... Uh, for the most relevant, it's actually going to be orthodontist uh, San Diego. Okay, these are the primary keywords to use to find you um, in San Diego, okay, for your San Diego location. All right, so I already did the search here. Um, let me scroll down a little bit. It uh, looks like you are actually right here, number rank number 43, okay, and this is the fourth page. Uh, I'm sorry, it's the fifth page. All right, page five. So... Let me show you this chart real quick. This shows you who gets all the market, you know, from the Google search. So the number one ranked person gets 34% of the market, while number 15 gets barely 1%. And just, just to remind you, you're right here on the fifth page at number 43, okay? So there's 200 determining factors that Google takes into its algorithm to determine who gets the best ranks at the top, okay? Uh, I don't, I'm not going talk to I'll talk about all of them. I only have you for a couple minutes. Um, but I'm going to talk to you about four of the most important ones, okay? So the first thing I want to talk to you about is uh, content, okay? So let us uh, let me just search real quick Orthodontist San Diego. I already did. I just want to bring to the first page. I want to show you this real quick. This is your map listings, okay? And this is your organic listings, okay? So again, content, all right? So when we go to your page, do you have good authoritative content? This is your home page right here. I can't scroll because it looks like your content ends right there with your copyright. All right. So what I mean by good authoritative content, I mean, do you have long elaborated definitions and paragraphs of information that is relevant to orthodontics or orth orthodontist in San Diego? Okay. It's something that Google looks at when it's analyzing your website to see if you're relevant to that person searching. And as, as you as I can see, you don't have that much stuff. You want to have at least... 1,000 to 2,000 words on your website, all right? You can see um, you do have a San Diego office and you do have a Escondido office. So um, to find your San Diego, this is more in regards to your San Diego office that's ranked so far back, but your Escondido office is actually ranked here. I already pulled it up. I pulled in, I typed in orthodontist Escondido and it looks like you're ranked number four, which is excellent, which is giving you uh, you know, about 8% of the market from the first page, which, which is not bad, but still, that number one spot is what every business owner should shoot for, um, That and that's something that I definitely go for and I get with my clients, but back to the uh, show here, um, content is paramount, so uh, these theories can be applied, you know, when, whatever your city is, and what I'm targeting is your, es is your uh, San Diego, and it could definitely be applied to your Escondido, to get you more exposure even on uh, that search. So let me show you what I mean by content really. Um, so elephant, I went to Google and I typed in elephant, okay? And let me just show you, I'm gonna back up real quick. All right, so we'll look what popped up. It was Wikipedia, now why? No, they're notorious for popping up first on these kind of single word searches because of authoritative content. Look at, look at all the words on their page. All right, I could, I could scroll for days. All of this information about elephants, okay? No one's going to read this unless they're writing a paper for college, okay? So, but Google sees this and sees all of this relevant content that has to do with elephants, and they get the number one spot every time, all right? Next thing I'm going to talk to you about is uh, listings, all right? So listings, some example, we also call these citations. Some examples, Yahoo, Facebook, Bing, Yelp, White Pages, Yellow Pages, all that good stuff. Um... These are very important. This is how we get our name and our product and our service out into the market so people can actually find us. Okay, and when we do them, um, <laughs> it's important to have our business name, address, and phone number identical because if not, Google's going to see that 
and, and going to slap us on the head and, and give us a horrible rank. Okay, so I can see that your name of your business is varied between quite a few. Um, looks like the address is varied a little bit. Uh, phone number is pretty consistent, all right, and you're listening in uh, quite a few of them, but look at all these that you're missing out on. These listings here you're not in. I guarantee you there's people looking for an orthodontist in San Diego in these listings, and, and you're not, they're not going to be able to find your business, okay? Um, these are just a few. There's hundreds, okay? We want to be in three to 400, even 500 to be competitive, and that's what's going to be uh, very much responsible for this map listings, okay? These citations get us there, all right? Let me show you this chart. This is a list of the top 50 in the country, okay? We want to be in all these, okay? But including these plus 350 to 400, okay? We want to be in about 400 of them, all right? Next thing I'm going to talk to you about is being mobile friendly. 60% of people walking around that need a service are actually going to pull out their smartphone, iPhone, Android, etc. to find it. So very important to look good on it. Did my scan with my tool here. Looks like you're good. So last thing I want to talk to you about our backlinks okay we also call backlinks um, influence pages so say you get a client that is thoroughly impressed with your service which I'm sure happens all the time all right um, they actually what they would do is say if they have a website or a business that has a website or they're a blogger um, they would post an article about how great the service was and wanted to refer everyone to you okay and they would actually put a link to your website on their on their article so whoever reading the article can simply click the link and go straight to your website. In Google's eyes, it sees this as a vote. So you want a lot of these. These are super important. These are probably the super, most important one out of the four that I talked about. Um, uh, to five to ten to be very competitive. All right, they're super important. All right. So um, I just want to talk to you. So you do have two offices. All right. Okay. I'm, I just want to say that. Uh, you know, my video is really geared towards getting, obviously, I want to, I would want to help you with both of them, um, but Escondido has about 150,000 people in its city. San Diego has 1.3 million, so it's going to be a lot easier to rank in Escondido, uh, hence probably why you're ranked number four, despite the discrepancies, okay, the, which is still room for improvement, but very good for being on the first page. But again, your San Diego office, it's on the fourth, uh, fifth page so you know um, so everything I talked about um, this is just a, an example of some of the service that I can provide um, I do a lot of different work I pro can provide a lot of different services for you and your company um, if any of this actually made sense to you for for your company I would love to have a conversation with you about it and, and then get some feedback um, as well so I left my number I left my name in my gmail account in the email I also wrote up a proposal so you can review that as well uh, again thank you for your time I appreciate your time and uh, you have a great day